just note down the names of the three parts of the lever. You can draw it as well. You can draw it as well. Okay, if you're done, you show me your whiteboards. Perfect, I'm done with these books. Great. Great. Wow, well done. Okay, let's come to the next slide. All of you, can I have you here? Okay, the next slide we are going to do is the three types of levels. Now, around us, we see three types of levels. Yes? The, of course, because there are three types, the usual classification, what do you think I'll give them? One, two, and three. 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 Okay. Now, do you see the first picture here? Yes. Yes? yes? Okay. I want all of you to take a minute and discuss with your partners what do you see here? Focusing upon what is in the center. Discuss with your
understand this. Mark over here the fulcrums here. Mark over here the uh, effort is uh, towards the left and the load is in the middle and the fulcrum is in the right. Okay, so what are we focusing on? What are we focusing on? What is at the? What is at the? Who will tell me? Mother? Yes, if you want to try. Okay, mother. The middle. What is, what the is middle? in the middle? middle? Okay, come mother. Can you explain in this example what is, what are the three things that you see? This is the uh, fulcrum, this is the effort and this is the load. Okay, so what has to be picked is the load. load. So what is in the center? I am still trying to find out what is in the center. Thank you, Madhav. Go, Madhavi. And in the center is the load. Very good. Can you help us write it down on the board? Yeah. Okay, I hope you are all noting it down on your whiteboards. First class, second class. Okay, wonderful. Their center position 
tells us if a lever is class 1 or 2 or 3. Isn't it a little difficult to remember? There are times we can get confused. Yes? yes so, I have something for you called a mnemonic. Ever heard this term before? No, I no. A mnemonic is a tool. It's a technology. It's a, it's a way of learning something quickly and never forget it. Yes? So, how will we never forget it? Is by this. Can you see something here? What is this? One, two, three, F, L, E. Small rhyme. F, L, E. One, two, three. So, what? Who can decipher this for us? Who can decipher this for us? Yes, Danush. Okay. Please come here. On your whiteboards, why Dagwood explains it to us. It's a function. If it is on the middle, it is a first class lever. If load is on the middle, it is on the second class lever. If effort is in the middle, it is a third class lever. Perfect. Thank you, Dagwood. That was wonderful. I hope you are noting it down on your whiteboards. The mnemonic for levels. Have you written the mnemonic? Yes. Okay. Can we now identify the three white parts of the liver? Who will tell me? Okay. Roll number seven. Yes, please. The three parts of the liver. Three parts of the liver is the effort, roll, and function. Perfect. Can you all do this? Yes. Yes. You noted it down. Next. Can we categorize the three levels into, the, uh, into three types? Can we categorize them into three types? Yes. yes. Who will give me the mnemonic for it? Who will give me the mnemonic for it? Yes, sir. The mnemonic for the levels F, 1, 2, 3 and FLE. FLE, 1, 2, 3. Perfect. Now we come to our activity. The first child of every group has been given a simple machine and some slips. I want you to get into your groups. Take out the simple machine and mark the fulcrum load and effort. Work on the simple machine all six of you and mark the fulcrum load and effort.
I want you to pick up your white sheet and make the simple machine using the cutters. I want you to now use your white sheet to make the cutters. Use the cutters and make the simple machine that you have been given. This is a flower and it's a first class level as the fulcrum is in the middle and the load and the effort are on each side. Okay, I hope you are noting this down. What is this? A ply. A ply. It is a? Ply. Which class level? First class level. First class level. Is that fine? Okay, put it on display. We got a pair of scissors. It is a first class level as it has the fulcrum on the middle and the effort and the load are on each side. Thank you. Please put it there for display. This is a top. It is a third class lever as the effort that we use our hand is in the middle and the load is right here and the fulcrum is on one end. So this is a third class lever. I think your skill fell off. No worries. Beautiful one. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Please come. Anil. This is a lemon squeezer. It is a second. This is a lemon squeezer. It is a second class lever because the load is in the center. Okay, and what do we have on the sides? The effort is on one side and the effort on the Okay, can we show it to everybody? What is in the center? Load. Load. Well, what do you put here? The effort. The, what do you put here in the load? A piece of lemon. Perfect. Is that fine? Thank you, Dad. Yes, next. This is a stapler and it is a third class lever as the effort is in the middle and the load is on this side and the fulcrum is here. Okay, thank you. Please put it here for display. I hope you are all writing this down on the blue sheets provided to you. I want you to discuss with your partners and complete the rest. I want you to discuss with your partners and complete the rest. The first one is load. First one is effort. No, the first one is load. And then this is your load. Here is the first So the first one is effort. So then what will this be? This is also a second class. So what would this be? This one is a uh, That is not like Where do you put the load? And your loads here. Efforts in the third class. Yes. We have to mark all. Okay. okay. You have to mark all. One, two, three, what they are. So you'll be marking each of the stuff. In case you're stuck, you can always call me. Able any issues? You can always ask Anand for help if you need some. So this is the first one. So this one will be the first one. Yes, the first one is the first one. Okay, boys. Can I have everyone paying attention here? Okay, let's do a small activity. You all have learned about levers? Yes. Yes. Levers are machines. Are we machines? Yes. We are also working on similar principles. In fact, I want 
I want to tell you that our arm is a simple machine. It's a lever. Now how is it a lever? I want you to hold your pen or pencil in your hand. All of you, please hold your pen or pencil in your arm. Okay, what is your pen or pencil? You can raise your hands. What is it? If I ask you, which part of the liver is this? Think. Okay, that's... Oh, they are very good. Yes. The lower. It is the load. Why is it the load? Why is it the load? Yes, Agha? Because you are carrying it. Because you are carrying it. Perfect. Now, what do you think is going to be the fulcrum? What do you think is going to be the fulcrum? Arya? Ma'am, the elbow will be the fulcrum. Elbow. Why? Ma'am, because... Yes. Why? Please tell everyone. Arya? Ma'am, because it helps us to move. Okay. It helps you to move. Is that incorrect? Yeah. Perfect. And where is the effort? Where is the effort? Done. Wonderful. Hand. Hand. Where is the hand? This is the whole thing is behind. In the palm. Palm is the? Palm is the? Load. This is where the load is. This is where the fulcrum is. So where do we find the effort? Where do we find the effort? Yes. Small. In the muscle. In the muscle. Where is the muscle? Can you show me? Okay, is it here? Are you sure? If I am moving this, where is the movement of the muscle? All of you do this and experience the movement of the muscle. Which muscle is actually moving when you are doing this? Pezan wants to tell me? Hey, which muscle can you feel move? If you rest this and just move the forearm, which muscle is Moving. Okay. Then what? This over here. This over here? Okay. So what is in the center of this level? What is in the center of this level? Yes. In the center. So what kind of a lever would it be? Yes. Would it be a third class lever? Yes, yes that will be correct. Okay, so clear your white boards. I want you to draw the human arm. Draw the human arm. Yes, yes, for doubt, Agha. So, so do you mean that our hand is a third class lever? Yes, it functions in a similar way, isn't it? You tell me. Yes, in fact, there are many more levers in our body which you are going to go home and find out. Research which other body parts act as levers. Can we do that? I hope you are drawing this and showing how the human arm is a type of a lever. Are we done? Can you show me your white words? Here. Okay, perfect. Can I show you? You can just quickly make a line and show it to me. Perfect. I'll be coming around to see everyone's arm. Mm. Great. Wonderful. Okay. Perfect. Great. Perfect. Okay. My party question to you all. Said in the beginning that Archimedes said, "If give me a place to stand, and I shall move the earth." But what all do you think that Archimedes would actually require? Give me the measurements would actually require to lift the earth. Now that is something needs a lot of calculation. So I want you to go home and research this. What conditions? Would Archimedes need to lift the earth? Please note it down in your, in your, on your white post or on your answer And make sure you get it in the next class. That will be how we open our next class. We will be starting with the first 
class level in detail. Thank you, class. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am. Any questions? You're most welcome to meet me uh, at, at any point of time. Okay. Yes. Sir. Uh, one question of math. Okay, so please note it down and next class be ready. Thank you class.